We're going to take a look at the process for creating dynamic remarketing ads in AdWords. Um, I'm first going to start by taking a quick look at the inventory feed that these ads will be based off of. They're down in your business data. and I've created mine called Vehicle Feed, and you can see I've got the dealership's vehicle inventory in here. You can create new ads without actually setting up your feed first, but if you look over here to the last column, Policy Details, you're not going to actually be able to see any vehicles or inventory items in the ads until you have the feed set up and this final column says Approved. But once that's in place, you can head on over to your campaigns. And here's a test ad group that I have that we're going to put some new ads in. And I will select Create New Ad from the Ad Gallery. and we're going to select dynamic ads and we're just going to do it with a custom image ad okay here we go finally in the interface uh, you'll recognize this is the display ad builder um, you can let AdWords pick your template. I kind of prefer to pick my own in which they've got a number to select from here. I'll hit this drop down. Give me one second. There we go. And here's a, a bunch of different options you have for, you know, showing things uh, with one product at a time, multiple products at a time. Let's do this one to show three vehicles per ad. Okay, you can see it's already updating with just some random vehicles from the feed. And then you can come down here and define what you want to put in the ads and where you want to put them. So um, item headline, item subtitle, item description, it's using the kind of default what they think you want to put in, but we could change those by clicking that. And if you just start with a little squiggly bracket, you're going to see the drop down up here with all of the column headers that we have in our inventory feed that we just looked at over in business data. So you can switch from you know item title to subtitle to description, etc. I'm going to escape out of this and turn it back to the preset format. There we go. And then here we'd uh, just uh, select your logo like we would in any other display ad builder tool. This one is for yeah capitalchevy.com so we'll go ahead and see what they find for that. Here's a good logo. We'll take that one. Okay, so now you see the logo in there. And the rest of the options here are really quite simple. You know, depending on the template you use, um, there will be options to use these different text lines here, headline, price prefix. So uh, notice for price prefix, I have as low as, you know, so we could change that to on sale now. You can see that getting updated in the ad as well. And then most of the rest of it is, you know, defining those text lines, changing your colors possibly to match, you know, the colors of that dealership's brand. Defining your uh, display and final URL, of course, with these, the final URL really comes from the feed. It's going to be the vehicle detail page for whatever vehicle is showing. And then there's some advanced options, which again, oh, not those advanced options. I'm just going to go to the more options. So button colors, yeah, it's mostly, here's the advanced fields I was looking for. It's mostly changing your colors, changing the background, you know, item settings, so we can go in here and change the color, size of your price, and that's essentially it. So I'll just go ahead and save this one. We're going to call this my test dynamic ad, and I will do the preview and save. It says fix errors. What do I got down here? Oh, yes. We do need capital Chevy.com. And I did misspell, but I don't think Google knows that, so I'm going to go ahead and 
preview and save anyway. And this is the screen that's going to show you a sample in each different ad format. It takes a while, but when they do show up, then you can decide if you want to uncheck and not include one of these dimensions within the rotation bands that you have. So I often turn off the smaller ones, like the little 200 by 200 or some of the mobile ones um, where multiple vehicles wouldn't show up well. And that's pretty much it. After preview and save, you would simply preview and save again, and you are done with the ad building process.